Today we about to put this uh, Z1 spacer on there. Uh, I'm, I'm only putting it on there because uh, sometimes I gotta add oil in here and some extra cord will be good. So I have to keep adding oil, but we'll see what happens. Basically, it just increases your oil that's in the in the car pretty much by one liter. So um, that's what I need, just in case this thing. Sometimes it burns. I got to put like a quart. Sometimes maybe a half quart. It's annoying. So this will be help me a lot. Also, if you are lowered, you try to do this. This this is probably not a good idea because it, it, it goes down a little more. It, it's a space of it, so the oil pan will be down more. So if you're scraping already on stock pan this won't be a good idea unless you have the uh, shield that's on there that metal aluminum shield whatever they have uh, z1 cells probably be good with that with this on but i don't know if it clears so i might get that okay i'm gonna stop talking and begin let's get it first things first jack up the car so you have a good height you could um drain the oil first you see my fucking jack see i messed this up right here it's a little bent over here and look at the condition of the look at the condition of the oil pan she rusted so might as well change it it's bent anyway so there's no splash shield here so of course it's gonna get rusted so i'm gonna get i'm definitely gonna get the uh the shield that goes here from z1 see how that goes it's gonna cover over here so uh i don't break anything here and we're gonna see how low it goes because so, it's over here now see how high it is it's gonna be a spacer there and oil pan gonna be right under it all right we'll see how that goes let's wait for that to finish move the oil filter the way we jacked it probably some oil is still over here so you could jack it over there take out the the stand and more will come out. I'm gonna show you real quick. So I'm gonna take the jack, burn over here, jack this up a little, take this out, and you're gonna see more oil come out. Just in case you wanna do your oil change and take all the oil out. See what I was talking about? You could let it tilt some more if you want, but it should be good. Or that should be coming down. Let's go a little lower, a little lower. As you see, more came out. Dripping down. Okay, so we're gonna wait till this thing, you know, start dripping just a little bit. Okay, as soon as it stops dripping, if you wanna wait that long, you could uh, put this back on there. You don't have to tighten it all the way. Okay. Now you can start um, removing these tens right here hands all around the oil pan and be careful with those it's a little rusty so be careful make sure you have your safety goggles you don't want to have oil drop in your eye that want to be a good uh, feeling make sure you have your oil pan under here just in case, just in case. You never know all right let's take these off been long finding these, these demons. Nigga just catch me and name me. Nigga just catch me and name me. Double cup, now I'm leaning. I gave her pipe, now she feeling. I grab my keys, now I'm leaving. Yeah, I'm leaving. Catch me and name me. Nigga, I'm finding these demons. Catch me splurging and demons. Okay, okay. The 
Lean up, lean up, lean up. My heart is bleeding. Okay, for this corner, we have to use a swivel over here. Swivel 10. Okay, just like this. We'll extend the one in, mini extendo. We have shit if it don't fit, we have to plan B. Oh yeah, she don't fit. Uh, does it? Yes, it does. A little tight, but when you tighten it, we're gonna use something else. So let's take this off. Now we're gonna use a pry bar to take this down. See me, I like leaving two bolts on there just in case. I don't want this thing to slam in my face. Drop down in the oil pan. So let's tighten these a little bit. I'll put two bolts, should be good. Down there, one over here. Get the pry bar. We're gonna try this one first. Let's see if this works. Put it here. Uh, I got this one now. Let's go over here. Make sure it connects like over here. See that right here? Um, you see this right here, this pole? Attach it to it like this and just pull down. Well, pull, push on it. See? Be careful. Last thing I want to do is mess this up. Okay, so this is really tight. So I'm gonna have to do it with a flat face and get in there, hit it. That was the last thing I wanted to do, but I had no choice. This is what I call a flat face or a scraper, whatever you wanna call it. So let's get over here, bang it. Make sure you use like a, a mallet. If you have. Okay, so let's try to get it as far in as you can. It's coming, it's coming along. Look like it's coming along. See? There we go. Okay. Okay, now that it's loose, we can move these bolts. Make sure you be careful when you do this shit. Bolts. Let's get in there like this. Okay. Oh, oh, be careful. Move your pan. There you go. Get your oil pan.